Hi, Al Javadi with Siren Lighting. So today I'm going to talk about LED tape light. So you're browsing on Amazon and uh, you see a real product for $9 and another real product for $29. Why would you want to spend $29 when you can spend $9? Okay, that's what we're going to talk about. So what makes a difference between a $9 and a $29? And I'm just using those numbers as hypotheticals. But there is a big gap in price difference. There's really three main components in difference that makes an LED tape. One is the LED itself. Second is the copper tracing. It's actually the circuit that everything is mounted on. Think of it as a wire. Third is the two-sided adhesive tape that's on the back of this material. You're supposed to peel it off, put it in place. That would dictate whether the material is going to, or your lights are going to stay on for two days, two years, or 20 years. Let's talk about the LEDs first. So a reel like this could have as many as 300 LEDs. Now imagine this, if those LEDs are even a couple of pennies each times 300, that's $6 in and by itself. How could a whole reel be $9? It's LED binning process. So when LEDs are really made out of the factory, they go through a selection process. Without boring you to death, I'm going to talk about the tolerance of one versus another. So the tighter tolerance product is considered a type A or very high quality. Type B is a little bit less of a quality and type C is basically throwaway. Everything else that didn't pass through the first or second tolerance. So you would imagine that if an LED tape reel has 300 LEDs, if you can cut down even a penny or two and really go with the type C product, that's how you come up with a $9 price, where, let's say, a $29 reel, or even more pricey, could have the Type A product. So let's demonstrate the difference between a Type A and a Type C, and how it really looks. So here you're looking at two white LED product from two different grades of binning. Bin A, bin C. This is a product that was readily available in the market. So on camera, it may be hard to tell literally the, the, the color difference and the performance difference. Best way to see, show that on camera is to actually use a diffuser. So I'm going to use a small diffuser. It's no magic trick. <laughs> As you can see, in the lower quality LED material, the light is bluish. Even though they're the same color temperature, both of these devices, but here you see more of a bluish tint. Also, the light is not as intense. As you can tell here, you see a much bigger footprint than you do here. Surprisingly, it's the same amount of power taken by both LEDs, just one being a lot more efficient than the other. Let's also look at the RGB product to see the difference in multicolor LEDs. As you can tell, the type C or bin C product versus bin A product, again, it's hard to tell on the camera. You can already tell that the uh, intensity of light is more over here. But one of the, uh, the issues with RGB product is the color. Both of these lights are illuminated with straight 100% red and green and blue, just basically connecting to direct voltage. And as you can tell here, much bluer light than here. So both of them supposedly produce in a white light. And of course, the intensity of light, as we just talked about here, in the type C product, or bin C, versus high quality type A product. Again, both consuming the same amount of power, same number of LEDs. The difference is pretty evident. Now, we're going to be talking about the other element, which is the copper thickness, the gauge of the wire, basically. If you were to actually be here with me in the studio, you'd be able to tell the difference between the thickness of a, what industry calls a two ounce copper versus a one ounce copper. I'm going to show you guys here on the uh, micrometer caliper that the actual thickness of 
the lower grade product versus the thickness of the better quality product, the two ounce gauge. And you can see the difference right there on the screen. That plays a big role in the cost of the product as well. Copper is not an inexpensive metal, so the more you use, the more it's going to cost. And the third, which is the tape itself, the two-sided tape, uh, 3M is, is one of the companies that's widely used in the industry. And um, believe it or not, not everybody really uses a 3M tape. And 3M also makes plenty of different grades of tape material. So, so pay attention to that as well, too. Um, what's the adhesiveness, how well it stays in place, um, and uh, what the final result is going to be several months later after the installation is done. That's my uh, lesson for the day about the uh, tape product, the LED tape product, and what makes a big difference between a, an inexpensive product and a quality product. Thank you for watching.